July 30th, 2008. From Atlanta, I'm Brad Fallon with more Web 2.0 news you can use. First up, Google is completely dominating the search engine industry, but plenty of folks are still trying to knock them off the pedestal. For example, Cool is a new search engine started by former Google employee Anna Patterson. Cool purports to change the way that searching works. Their secret? Well, for starters, Cool supposedly has 120 billion pages in its index, whereas most estimations put Google's index at only about 8 billion. Patterson is also experimenting with a three-column search result page, which gives the page more of a magazine-like feel. To learn more about Cool, follow the link at freelinereport.com. And the first search engine using Yahoo Boss has been released. As we said before, Boss is the new search initiative that allows users to create their own search engine. This one is called Search Cloud, and it allows users to dictate the importance of keyword phrases. The idea behind it is that by qualifying the importance of the keywords used within a search, users will receive results more suited to their needs. It remains to be seen how well the Search Cloud concept works in practice, but expect to hear more about this in the coming months. In other search engine news, Microsoft announced last week that Live Search will be heading to Facebook. The agreement is probably part of the deal where Microsoft purchased a $240 million stake in Facebook. As we reported Monday, the deal with Microsoft is just one of two major partnerships that Facebook has made in the past few months, and Facebook plans to have Live Search online by the end of the year. Switching to the world of online music, it appears that the Yahoo Music Store will be closing down their servers on September 30th. Due to the store's use of Digital Rights Management, or DRM, for copyright protection, users will be unable to copy their music to a new computer or device after the September deadline. In an email to its customers, Yahoo is recommending that users burn their tracks to a CD and then re-rip them into the file type of their choosing. <laughs> of course, you could always do that anyway. That's exactly why DRM is generally far more trouble than it's worth. And finally, Amazon is looking to become the backbone of the new MySpace Music project. Launching in September, MySpace Music will offer users a variety of music-related content, including DRM-free MP3 files from three out of the four major record labels, plus ringtones and concert tickets. If the deal goes through, Amazon will be in charge of all the transactions that happen on the site. Although Apple and Rhapsody are still in the running for the lucrative contract, many analysts consider them to be long shots at best. Until next time, I'm Brad Fallon. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow with more Web 2.0 news in 2.0 minutes. For Web 2.0 news you can use in 2.0 minutes, visit FreelineReport.com.